Welcome back to Crack the Quas series with me Kavya Thindral. Today we will see about the continuation of the previous video that is the medical entomology part 1. We have seen the classification of arthropods, class insecta except mosquitoes and a quick recap at last we will see. Housefly. A quick recap only. Housefly is also known as porter of infection. It has tenant hair for with which it can secrete the sticky fluid and stick onto one place and as well it can transmit the diseases and vomit drop is basically it vomits on the solid food and sucks it and uh, it is belonging to a genus called Musca it is 3 to 4 long term stripes in the thorax is the identification feature of Musca genus the disease transmitted its acute gastroenteritis, trachoma, yas, polio, anthrax and etc which we have discussed Sandfly. Coming to sandfly, one important thing is sandfly, although it has wings, it tries to hop. It is Phlebotomus genus, so it has second longitudinal branch at the center of the wing. And it is hairy insect, especially in the antenna. And it is thinking that no, it is basically the only the female uh, sandfly will bite and suck the blood because it is sucking blood on third or fourth day for OB position to identify it is female or not go check the abdomen if it is round at the tip it is a female if it is having a clasper then it is a male the disease which is going to cause is Kalazar the easy mnemonic to remember is discussed in the video and this is a smaller than mosquito and as well it is more painful bite in the nocturnal time next coming to set Z fly set Z fly as the name suggests, T and S, it is causing trypanosomiasis or sleeping sickness. And it has a wings like a scissor when it is folded. And it is a non retardal proboscis. This, this important feature is able to distinguish between a housefly and a ZZ fly. This is the most important. Then, housefly, it is retractal proboscis. Here, it is a non retardal proboscis. And coming to Sexy fly and another important point is directly give birth to the larva not the eggs it doesn't lay eggs because it is the fly one of the flies that directly gives birth to larva and the area where it is present is called as fly belt usually it is seen in African region coming to black fly we have seen black fly semulum genus uh, how we put a sim into the phone likewise this fly will go enter the water and lay the eggs so underwater breeding and it is black in color to see is a one important parasite that is flying for 100 miles and therefore it is very difficult to control it causes black blindness so it is causing an important infection that is onchocerciasis which in turn cause blindness next is human lice we'll start from today human lice we are more familiar that this is two things one it is a head and body lice loves and another is the crab loves crab loves is basically a square in shape and doesn't uh, doesn't cause any infection and doesn't transmit it doesn't walk it doesn't move it doesn't move more especially it is sticking only to the pubic region the pubic hair and this is a wingless ectoparasite it has claws this is a most important thing because of which it will stick onto the scalp and the body hairs and the eggs laid by this is called night nits and one important thing is to identify male or female it is bilobed the abdomen here is bilobed in case of female and there is no much of difference between the head and the body loves it is looking similar to this and what are the disease caused by the body loves we'll have a very easy mnemonic like love starts by fighting and it'll be present forever and it, it can increase at some time it is this is the mnemonic which is seen in many movies so love starts with fighting fighting who will fight a lot is the military people and military in military area the infection which is causing is trench fever so it is military fighting trench and it will last forever what is the one disease that is present forever in life that is dermatitis so dermatitis and relapsing fever relapsing fever is will be present love will be present and again it will it is, it is showing varying intensity like so relapsing fever and epidemic typhus epidemic typhus uh, it is unexpected epidemic is an unexpected sudden event right likewise love can be like an unexpected whoever see they can come 
likewise it is an epidemic typhus so head loss causes trench fever relapsing fever dermatitis and epidemic typhus next come to rat flea in rat flea it is again a wingless ectoparasite most important point and another thing is it cannot fly because there is moving it cannot fly based on the spermatheca which is present in the females it is used to differentiate the species and as it cannot fly it can only jump that is less than 6 inches it can uh, jump to identify this is a rat flea remember a rat also has a face like a cone like this we would have drawn in our small age so it is same like this rat flea also have a cone shaped head to remember and to identify in males it is a coiled tube in the abdomen whereas in females it is the spermatheca larva of this rat flea will feed on the feces of the adult flea on which the two it feeds on the blood in the feces it looks like a head a legless caterpillar next is a important mechanism of block flea and partial block flea whenever the flea is in uh, sucking the blood in what is actually happening is it is also sucking the uh, bacteria especially Yersinia pestis this Yersinia pestis is go and will proliferate in the proventriculus part of the flea as it is getting proliferating it blocks the proventriculus so whenever it is biting rather it is taking in the food or the blood it will only infect the person with the colonized Yersinia pestis that is causing plague in case of a blocked flea it will die soon and in case of a partial flea it will not die soon because there is still an intact pathway for the flea to take in the blood thereby the lifelong of partially blocked flea is more and thereby the infectivity rate is more to be noted specific flea index is more significant and what are the disease caused by this flea it is it is rat flea so murine refers to rat so again it is murine typhus it's also called as endemic typhus and again rat fever this plague at last hymenolopis nana it is a parasitic infestation next coming to sand flea one thing to remember is it is looking like rat flea but it is not like because they see the head shape it is somewhat like a oval something like this this shape it is flourishing in sand, sandy soil so it is called a sand flea and it is also known as jigger or chigo flea one important thing is all sand remember sand flea and sand fly both only females will be uh, troublesome here the fertilized female burrows in the skin especially in the feet and this is basically called as tunga penetrance it is penetrating and tunga is a genus it spreads leishmaniasis and one important thing what is the difference between flea and flea flies let me say it now in fleas and flies what is changing is the i is here replaced by a let us consider this a this a is similar to the uh, wings of the fly now we are putting a horizontal line like this that is no wings it means in fleas there is no wings in flies they have wings this is a mnemonic to remember next is the red with bug very simple red with bug kindly note this v v i before i there is v it means the nose is a v shape or cone shape this is going to cause chagas disease the next is ticks very important ticks are two things one is hard and soft tick one important thing in hard tick it has scutum scutum is a hard exoskeleton like in soft tick it has no scutum so identify soft one thing you know is a sponge so it is looking like a sponge so we can identify like a sponge it is like this and uh, it has a scutum uh, hard tick will be hard like when someone is hard it healthy it means they will feed all time like that so hard tick will feed day and night as it's going to feed day and night it is present only in host and as well it is it cannot withstand starving exactly opposite soft tick it feeds only in night only on night time it gets into the host and it can starve for many months and as well yes is similar to five so remember soft tick has five nymphal stage nymph stage whereas heart tick has only one nymph stage diseases caused by this is heart heart is rock rocky heart so it is causing rocky mountains of uh, spotted fever that is heart ticks next is babesia when someone is eating heart the eyes will become like this in the cartoons we would have seen so this is a cross 
Multi cross is seen in babesiosis and multi cross babesiosis cross heart so heart tick causing babesia. Next is tularemia. Tularemia is uh, you know ticks are present in dogs and this is trans transmitted from dogs and cats. So it is tularemia and last viral hemorrhagic fever. One important thing is in saliva of these ticks it has neurotoxin. Next is mites. Mites and ticks are one of the same but one th important thing is these mites have long hair to be noted. Tromiculate mite is also called a chigger and this lepto Trombidium akamushi is the one which is causing scrub typhus which is caused by Orangia sutsugamushi. Here one important thing is here the larval form is the one which is attacking not the adult form in case of trombiculite mite. Coming to Sarcoptis KB, the Sarcoptis KB is very peculiar to see and uh, it is a itch mite, it causes KBs. One important thing, it lives, it burrows in the stratum corneum of the skin and lay the eggs there. One important thing to differentiate male and female, male has no sucker in the third pair of the leg. To differentiate uh, ticks and mites, only one thing to remember, body hair. Mite has long hair. Mite hair is long in that's all. Next to Cyclops. Cyclops, we know it has a pear shape, it has forked tail and two pair of antenna. A quick recap. It feeds on it feeds while feeding. Defecates while feeding. That is rat flea. It defecates and feed or feed all through day. That is house fly. One peculiarity between uh, between this sand fly and sand fleas are only females bite. Arthropod which lives in the cracks and crevices, especially which is uh, people who are living in the kacha house or more prone for getting, getting infected with uh, this is caused by redweed bug, rat flea, soft tick and mite. In the next video we will see how to differentiate easily at the site of all these arthropods and also the management. Thank you so much for your patient listening.